Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be talking about a £200 FPV drone combo which is so much fun, I just can't stop flying this thing. If you're interested, stick around and I'll tell you all about it. So something different today, we're going to be talking about FPV. Now FPV I wanted to get into this market for a while now. But with FPV, it's not a case of just going off flying. It's a completely different way of flying. You've also got to go and build it yourself. You've got to get the parts for it, go and get your neighbor's welding gun, weld them all together, go and fly it, crash it, go and buy some more parts. And whilst that also sounds great, unless you've got the time for that, it's a lot of effort and time. That is until we've now started to see FPV drones, which have everything included, ready to fly. It's just you've got to then learn how to fly the thing. So a company's reached out to me today, which is Beta FPV, which we're going to be talking about. And this combo is brilliant. It's a full kit that includes the goggles, the drone, and the controller. And the best thing is it's actually less than 200 pound. And I am having so much fun flying this. So first of all, let's just show you what's included in the box. So within here, you've got the remote controller, you get the goggles as well, and then you get the drone. Now this drone is absolutely tiny, this thing. It's like a little UFO. It only weighs 30 grams this. That drone is brilliant. And I'll talk about how robust it is also as well in some of the experience I've had so far with this little drone. So just to put it into context, this is the DJI Mini 2, one of the smallest drones that DJI make. And this is the FPV drone. So it's absolutely tiny. It's just so good fun and robust. And I'll talk to you again about the good points and bad points about this very shortly. But yeah, for, it's small, 30 grams, a brilliant drone to start with if you're getting into that FPV world. So I'll just talk to you now about the controller. When I first got this, I was like, what the hell is going on with this drone? Because it was just flying absolutely mental. But it's got different settings on this one and you only need to bother with two of them really. So on here, you've got SA, which is your kill switch, your on off switch. And then here you've got SB. Now you've got level, horizon and acro. Now when I first got this out of the box, it was in acro mode. And that's where you've got full manual controls, just like you've seen on probably the latest DJI FPV drone. That is what this was in. And I was like, I'm never gonna be able to fly this. But that's because it was in that mode. And as a beginner FPV pilot like myself, that is probably the worst mode you can be in to start with. So put it in level mode. And again, you don't have it hovering in place on any FPV drone. You've got to actually control that hover yourself. So the headset comes with this and the headset, the quality you get from this is not going to be anything like Steven Spielberg is going to be contacting you about, can I have your footage? It's not the best footage at all. It's actually a bit like a 80s or 90s video game, if you imagine that. But you're not getting it for the cinematic quality. You're getting it for that experience and also that feel of what it's like for an FPV drone. But the best thing about this and this whole kit, to be honest, in general, is that it's great for just getting into that FPV market flying this drone you're not going to be worried about spending loads and loads of money and then potentially crashing it i've got this and i've crashed it quite a few times and it's still in great condition there's still nothing wrong with this whatsoever it's really strong and robust you've also got a part here at the top so you can put a memory card so you can film any of the footage you can film what it's actually filming on here and it's like an analog signal so when you've got it connected between the three this will then pick up that tiny little sensor on that camera there Right, so we've talked about the three different areas. So let's get this fired up. And I'm gonna show you just taking off in here and then we'll also take it outside and give you a better idea of what this is like. The headset now is picking up straight away what that camera is looking at. If you can see through there, you should hopefully be able to see what the actual camera itself is seeing. And that's what you would see if you had this on your head. So this is a drone now. You can have it hovering in place. As you can see, you've got to have your own controls of this. And just by flicking that switch there, it actually kills it. So if you're gonna be getting close to yourself or somebody else or an object, press that and it just kills it completely. So as you can see, it's a lot of fun and it takes a lot of practice as well. But in a really small environment like this, it's quite hard to fight without it crashing into something. So let's take it outside and I'll show you what it's like outside. All right guys, so I've now come to some park, so I'll test this drone out. So it's quite windy today, so it'll be also interesting to see how it handles the wind. We're just flying it around this location, hopefully it should be pretty good. I've also got the memory card in as well, so you should be able to see everything that the drone can actually see. So straight from the actual tiny little drone, using the goggles, and this will be what hopefully will come out when recording this. I'm gonna try and fly it around this skate park using these goggles, and just give you an idea of what it's like 
obviously as you can hear it is pretty windy here today so we'll see how we get on so as you can see guys the wind it was really windy and a drone this small doesn't handle well in the wind so obviously don't fly it in really strong winds but i'm going to change location shortly I'll just give you an idea what this footage looks like straight away at this skate park Yeah, as I thought, it was really windy where we were before. So I've come to this location now. It's not on the promenade, so hopefully it should be a bit better for this drone. Because it's so small, obviously, you don't want to be flying it in really high winds like I was. So let's try again. I don't know if any of that was recording, but God, it's fun. But I'm going to try it now with the goggles. I wanted to just try it to see what it was like because you want to can fly it without the goggles and then you want to put the goggles on for that immersion feel. So that's what I'm going to do now. Hopefully all this is recording. I've got no idea whether you're actually seeing the footage from this video style camera that's built into this drone. So let's put the goggles on and we'll try again. Sorry, I didn't realise that there was actually a load of mud on the lens, so I've wiped it off. It hopes it should be a bit better. Let's go. So overall, would I recommend this drone? 100% yes. I, I'm itching constantly to fly this. I'm just charging these batteries more than you would ever know, just flying it constantly. It's great, great fun. Now the best thing to remember with this is, this is not gonna get you the best FPV, cinematic, fun experience out there because it's only less than 200 pound. But is it a great FPV drone to start flying and enjoy that FPV experience without shelling out a fortune or building everything yourself? Absolutely. So I'd highly recommend going and picking this up. It's so much fun. I just love messing about with this. I'm absolutely terrible at it, but I'm getting better about it by the day. But outside, by practicing, you can get better and better, and then you can put it in that acro mode and that un just unlocks everything. You've got full control of that drone. Fly it anywhere you want. Just fly it close by, and you're gonna have no problems with this whatsoever. If there are any downsides to it, I'll just go through a few, which I will tell you about, just so you're aware and then you can make your decision. And if you wanna buy this drone, it's all linked in the description below. So there's not many downsides to this because you have to remember that this is only 200 pounds for this whole kit. So the batteries, yeah, they last about five minutes. That'd be great if they could last a little bit longer, but they are convenient, so it's not a problem. You get two of them in the kit. And as I said before, I'm having one of them on charge all the time while the other one's flying. So you can just swap this around. I usually fly it for about six batteries worth, just keep swapping them around, have one charging. So that's not much of a problem. So the goggles, it's not gonna be the best quality. It's like a video game, an analog signal. And when you are quite far away, that signal breaks up. So it's meant to be close to you within probably 50 or 100 meters flying in, a, in an area where, where you are, you're gonna get the best signal. Any further than that, it's gonna be dropping out because it's an analog based signal. The quality isn't the best, but it is good enough and you see everything where you are, but it, you get in that immersion FPV style but having these on it's a completely different way of flying compared to just standing there looking at your screen like you would on a, like a DJI drone. So 
the quality is not going to be great, but again, we've got to remember the price of this. Even if you pay an extra grand more and you get the new DJI FPV drone, that quality is obviously a lot better, but it's a thousand pound more. And if you're just getting into that FPV market, then this is going to be a lot better for you because you're not going to be worrying about the financial problem and cost if you was to completely ruin or lose your drone flying one of these. So really overall, those are the only slight negatives to this. There's not many and I would tell you if there was, you see, as you know, I'm always honest with the, the drones and my feelings towards them, but for fun wise, there's nothing better. It's so fun to fly this really really can't knock it too much it's just a great tool for any beginner to be getting into this market and practice get really good at this get in acro mode once you've been decent and you can fly it with confidence in acro then you could then potentially think i'm going to spend more money on a, a more expensive fpv drone for a better camera but it's so good fun this go and check it out links in the description below brilliant kind of keep flying this let me know if you pick one up what do you think about it but fun factor 10 out of 10 Anyway, take care guys, see you very soon, bye bye.